Okay, uh, it is in the continuation of the previous lecture. We discussed about the argumentative composition. Now, another type of composition is narrative composition. What a narrative composition is? First of all, try to understand. A narrative composition tells a story or gives an account of some evil, right? Nar narration means story. Uh, you tell some kind of story or just give some account of an evil. These are examples of narrative topics. Write a story about a person who helped an enemy or somebody he or she disliked. This is the story. So you have to uh, write a kind of story in this argumentative composition. Describe an attempted uh, robbery at a bank or a shop. Assume that you were an eyewitness. This is whenever you are going to uh, write. So you have to, uh, like you are present over there and you are you are talking, you are telling that story to somebody, right? This is a kind of narrative composition. Making up a plot, how to make number first. This is also a step. We do not need a plot. We can either remember what happened or make it up easily. Number B. This is in the continuation of the C. Uh, B. We can also make up the events, perhaps by remembering a report in a newspaper or film on television. However, in A, we may have to make up a plot. For A, plot. Right? There, the, there is a plot in any an original short story or now. Think about somebody in trouble. Perhaps he is too ambitious or jealous. Perhaps he has had a call with a friend. Perhaps his house is on fire or flooded then the rest of the story is how the person gets out of trouble if you have to break up a story start by putting somebody in a different position then explain how he or she got out of it this is uh, you put somebody in a trouble and then also plan how to take out that fellow from the trouble this is how you are going to narrate Dialogue, uh, a story is more interesting if you use dialogue. This is also one of the method uh, to use dialogues in the story. Uh, you, 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 try, you, you just a kind of develop a kind of dialogues and communicate your story through dialogues. This is also one of the way you can write a narrative composition. Then short description. There is no space for a long description in a story. Learn to give short description of people and places. In narrative, you will just give a short description of the people that the reader may understand. Right? Then the background. Perhaps you are going to write a ghost story, a detective story, huh? or a romance. The story will be more interesting if you can sit in an interesting background. That does matter. Right? When you are writing something, a story, a narration, so you give the background that the reader may take interest in writing to finish, that the reader may like to finish the story because in a background you have informed the reader that these are the things, so naturally what will happen next, this is a kind of suspense you will create. So your story will be based on the background, so the background must be clear and beautifully written. Then the character. In a story, we can describe a character. We can show a person's nature by what he says and does. In a story, in a narration, we can also describe a character of a person as well. Try to make your men different from your women. Try to make all women act and speak differently from girls. Try to bring your characters to life. Means whenever you talk, whenever you write some dialogues or some story of that person, the dialogue must show the age differences. How the old lady says, how a young girl, girl says, and how a young boy uh, talk, tells a story or talking or something like that. So your dialogues, your statement must show the age of the person even if it is and the reader may understand now this time 
the girl is talking the boy is talking ah the old lady is talking right so these are the uh, steps which we have to follow in writing the narrative composition so, right short description to be given background and characters now exercise page number 140 write about one of these topics your teacher will tell you how much and yes of course you can write 400 and 500 words uh, choose one among these topics uh, as a homework as an assignment uh, and do write in the neat copies and on a page you can also send me uh, pictures or you can also keep that in a viewer record that whenever we get to meet so we will check it and of course if you return the pictures of your essay that would be very good that i may check your assignment right write a story to show the importance of using an opportunity when it first comes this is we try to understand the statement that whether it is a narrative argumentative descriptive and then you write accordingly the steps which we discuss right i hope that you understand the topic what a narrative story is and what what a narrative composition is so you are supposed to choose one among the following topics and return to me as a assignment okay okay thank you so much